All right, so today I'm going to be working with this Hakko FR801 and the Hakko FM206. Now, the reason I've always had the discrete FR801, a lot of people ask, so if you have all these different tools, why don't you just buy the all-in-one? I come from the generation of, you know, you know those Quasar and RCA piece of shit VCR TV combos where either the TV or the VCR would die after three months and you had to replace both because they were built together. I'm used to that. So I was a little skeptical when it came time to buy this. So what I want to do is I want to figure out if this hot air station, because again, when I look at this hot air station and I look at this handpiece and then I look at this hot air station and I look at this handpiece, it's just hard for me to believe that this is going to be the same type of flamethrower that I'm used to. So I'm going to try to remove the LCD connector on this MacBook Airboard, and I'm going to do it with both of these. Now, to keep it fair, because I, don't, I haven't calibrated temperature, I've set this to the highest temperature in Fahrenheit, which is 990, and I've set this to the highest temperature, which is whenever the knob is all the way to the right. And we're going to time how long it takes each station to do this. So I'm going to turn this thing on, and I'm going to try to remove that LCD connector. All right, so I just hit this, and let's see how long it takes for me to remove the LCD connector. One thing to note is that you barely feel a stream of air, even though the air on this is turned up to 100%. So I'm just moving it back and forth. My assistant here, Sonny, is holding the camera. Because, again, I didn't actually bring my setup that I would need to record the, from the microscope camera. So I have one of these the USB HDMI dongles so I can record but my laptop that I have actually only has USB 2 because it's old, so I can't use it. Embarrassing, I know. So you know, we're moving back and forth here. Let's see if I'm even remotely close to removing this. No, not at all. Not even close. Yeah, I'm going to keep going with this until it eventually is hot enough that I can remove it. Keep in mind that this FM2029 and this FM206 are new. I took this out of the box one week ago. We've been using these tools a lot, so they've had time to be broken in over the past week. They've been getting a lot of use from me, and I'm sure they've been getting a lot of use from the other 10 people that are taking this class. I am not keeping track of the time right now. I'm going to do that when I edit the video, but I'm pretty sure that I'm a minute in. And I have not melted a damn thing. I have used this to replace some small components, but it is it takes a while. Okay, so after pulling, which is something you should never do, and I'm only doing because this is a dead board that I bought for about 25 bucks that has a hole in it, I'm actually pulling to try to help me get the connector off. So the heat alone is not really doing it. Okay, and I finally got it off, and it looks like I haven't lifted any pads. Now I'm going to turn this thing off. I'm going to turn on the Hakko FR801. So I got my air at about 15 and my hot air at 8. So this other station, I had the air at 100 just to get any sort of decent airflow. With this, I'm about 70% of the way up, and we're going to start. Now, this is the other thing you want to deal with with hot air. So I'm going to turn the noise reduction off for a second. There was no need to even do that with the other one because it didn't even barely made any noise. But you hear that? So if I'm far away, you don't hear much. I probably shouldn't be putting my face as close to hot air. That's a bad idea. When I put it to the board, you hear that? That's a noise you want to hear from your hot air station. You want to feel like your hot air station is a flamethrower. You want to actually feel the, the noise from that air. It's already lifting. I'm not going to have to pull with the Hakko either. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to be able to push this thing off. Now, I'm not counting, but I'm pretty damn sure that this thing kicked the crap out of the other one. 
And again, like if I had to use this thing every day, I'd probably damn near shoot myself. So let's try something else like a WLED driver because this is hard. Removing a connector is something any monkey can do, but removing the LED driver chip, that's actually difficult. It's easy to mess up soldering this. It's very easy to mess up soldering this. So this thing claims that it's at 990 Fahrenheit. This is not a big honky connector. This is a very, very tiny IC. Not even remotely close to coming off. I could probably encase the damn thing in the nozzle and it's not going to come off. Okay, it's, we're f we finally got, oh, yeah, we, got, we finally got it. It keeps cooling down as I go to pick it up. Okay, that's how long it took with that. Now let's try the Hacko FR801. We're going to turn around. Again, this is the same board. This is an 820-3437-2013 13-inch MacBook Air motherboard. Both of these are the same configuration. Same board, so it's not like I'm comparing a board that has 10 layer PCB to a board with one layer PCB. It's the same damn thing. It's off already. It was probably off much sooner. So my opinion here, if you want to get an all-in-one station, by all means get an all-in-one station. But this thing, when you get the full decked out configuration with a hot air station, a soldering iron, and a desoldering iron. You're going to be paying as much for that as you are for a discrete hot air station that works a lot better. And you can always buy the two channel station. You can buy one of those used two channel stations where you can plug in a soldering iron and a desoldering iron, or a soldering iron and hot tweezers. You buy the dual station, the dual soldering station, and then buy a discrete hot air station. You're going to spend the exact same amount of money and it's going to work just fine. So again, a lot of people say, you don't want to have too much stuff on your desk. You don't want to have this and this and this. Hello, you can stack vertically. You have room. You have about eight or 10 feet to the ceiling. Don't be afraid to put one thing on top of the other. At work, I have three things on top of the other, and I don't care. It never falls down. That's what rubber feet are for. This is sturdy. I'm not going to, again, power supply, three, st the three iron station, hot air station, desoldering. I will more than happily stack to the ceiling. Oh, uh, yeah. Sp save your money, buy a discrete hot air, and buy the two-channel hacko, not the three-channel hacko, 